Welcome back. There's a live look at the Discovery Lab under construction. And you know, you've probably seen this construction along Riverside. Incredible glass and brick building that you might wonder, what is that? What's inside? What's going on there? Well, here to help answer those questions and more is Dr. Ray Vandiver, the Executive Director, CEO of Discovery Lab. Ray, welcome yeah. in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. So people may know the current setup that you all have. It's uh, Owen Park. Yes. This on Riverside is going to be replacing that eventually, right? Yeah, so this is our new site. So taking the the um, uh, experiences of Owen Park and amplifying them and um, uh, making it larger than life and redisplaying at g gathering place. Oh goodness, and we want to see this helicopter video that, that, that we shot a few days ago of Discovery Lab. So tell me about the design outside. We've got the parking lot in the back, and, and how did you get this prime location, right? I mean, this is yes. a beautiful location. So it's uh, the new facility is uh, 57,000 square feet. That's almost five times larger than the current site. And our partnership with Gathering Place has been so gratifying. Of course, the two organizations missions really overlap in particular how um, we both look to bring families together and the community together so it was just a natural for the two organizations to work together and um, just feel so um, grateful to our partners at Gathering Place. And what does it feel like for you just a project now that is nearing completion and the fact that you will be a part Ray of something that is the biggest moment in Discovery Labs history? Yeah, so um, it is just, you know, the, the, the watching the building come out of the ground over this um, more than a year has just been so exciting um, for the community and, as you can imagine, the Discovery Lab staff. Um, but as beautiful as the building is, uh, wait till you see what's going to be inside. Yeah, let's go to the video of the inside because uh, Lindsay and Dare and Ann, uh, your, 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 your team has really helped me out. They helped us out getting this video inside. They went into that construction site, went up on a scissor lift, mm -hmm. and uh, it, Lindsay got this video for us. What are we seeing here on the inside? So, um, of course, we are going to um, be showcasing our famous tape tunnel. So as you enter into the new exhibit hall, expect to see a bigger, more evolved tape tunnel system. Uh, of course, this is ordinary packing tape and what we believe to be the longest tape suspension bridges in the world. We'll have 10 of them, but it makes for an, ex an exciting exploration of extraordinary uses of ordinary materials. Is so Owen Park, your location now, has a tape tunnel. This one's going to be the jumbo size. Bigger, bolder, um, just just really fun and exciting, yeah. Another fun thing that you've let us see today, Ray, and you've provided these pictures to us, these artistic renderings, mm. I'm getting chills. Mm. They are stunning. Look at how this place is going to look. Tell us, you know, you're a PhD, you're a doctorate in physics. Science is important in your life. What does this mean to you to see children discovering and learning about this? Well, one of the things that we aspire is to um, affect the identity of the children and students that explore and, and experience Discovery Lab as a, uh, a self-identify as a science learner and feel comfortable and confident in science um, education um, and just have a, a real um, affinity for science and a love for science. So that's, that's what we're all about and our exhibits are designed to be joyful, um, motion-based, but also rooted in um, uh, um, promoting critical thinking, problem solving, um, and creativity and innovation in students as they explore science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. Ray, I know we can't say the exact date. Are we close to opening the new location? So we're getting close, um, and it, it should be um, not too much longer before we can make a definitive announcement about when the new museum will open. Make sure to watch News on 6 at 9 a.m. Yeah, yeah. for that yeah. announcement. Also, Ray, I just want to give you the floor here for uh, folks can get season passes. Yeah, so they can get memberships right yes. now, right? Yeah, so um, uh, we're very excited about a new membership program called the Gizmo Guild, and that will, um, th those are $1,000 memberships, and it uh, helps support museum operations and the capital campaign, but Gizmo Guild members also will get a first look at the museum before the museum opens. And also, I want to um, suggest um, that we are now hiring st um, for the new site, so uh, exhibit facilitators, educators, and more, so um, more information at our website. And, and a as, block party and on Halloween? October 31st. Oh boy. Basically, uh, that's when the current site will um, be sunsetting. So we want to celebrate our time at Owen Park. So on Sunday, October 31st, from 11 to 3, we have a free event. Uh, it'll take place in the museum and out in the park. We'll be launching rockets and 
um, exploring the science of bubbles. There'll be food trucks. Um, it's a free event, but pre-registration is, is required. Dr. Vandiver, thank you for your time, and stay tuned for future announcements yeah. about Discovery Lab. Thank you so much.